The first funeral services for victims of the bridge collapse were held this afternoon in Naples. 450 miles away from Genoa, but attracting huge crowds of mourners, reflecting the shock and anger that Italy is feeling. My son has not just died, he was killed, along with all the others. And now I have died inside, said Roberto Battiloro, whose son Giovanni was one of four young friends being buried today. At their service, the Archbishop of Naples pointedly said, we must not die by negligence or by irresponsibility. In the grief, there is suspicion and anger, and much of it is aimed at the authorities. Back in Genoa, they are preparing a state funeral tomorrow for many of those who perished. Italy's president and prime minister will be there, but many of the victims' families say they want nothing to do with anything the state has a hand in and will bury their dead privately. The Italian government says the company contracted to maintain the bridge must now pay to rebuild it and compensate all those who suffered. The blame game now dominating the national conversation. Today, a lorry that stopped at the very edge of the collapse and became a symbol of this disaster was slowly reversed away. The search of the rubble and the twisted metal goes on. Tomorrow has been declared a day of national mourning. It's feared there could still be as many as 20 bodies buried here to add to a death toll that stands at 38. Paul Davis, News at 10.